My name is Steve. Welcome back. Heartbeat is now open and we're letting people in, but that means we can also concentrate on more classes for you. So, what we need to do is stop moving. Remember, the warm up is always essential. I'm going to skip that and move straight into our routine for today. So, I want you to march on the spot, roll your shoulders back, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Fantastic. And roll your shoulders forwards. So, any music will do with a little bit of beat. Let's rotate here, bringing the heels up. Fantastic. And now march and just give me a big shoulder roll all the way up. So, we're going to do shoulder roll forwards, more ballistic movements, stronger depth and more power. So, please stay where you're comfortable. We're going to start with a little tap behind. There we go. So, if you think about this as a circuit, my pen with a mop, this is where we're going. So, all you can, yeah. So, we're tapping behind and then we're just going to tap to the side. Stretch out the arms, but we're going a little slower and tapping a little further. So, this is going to take us into a lunge and a squat. So, we're tapping behind and now just your right leg, lunge behind and tap. Lunge behind and tap. Bending the knee and tapping behind. I'll show you from the side. Uh, so stretching. We'll do one more and now change legs. So just an answer the tap behind. Remember your option is just the smaller tap as we started. Tapping behind, bending the knee. Fantastic. And instead of side taps now, we're going to go into a nice little squat. Pushing our bum back, keeping the chest uplifted keeping your vision forward. So if you look down, you'll fall down. Make sure you're looking forward, keep that chest uplifted. And now we're going to begin again, so marching on the spot. Let's roll your shoulders back to open up your chest, squeeze your shoulder blades together, and roll forwards. Cool. This time take your hands behind you, and squeeze, tuck your chin in. Super. So a little heel digs, just to begin with. There we go. So if you want to increase, just push a little further away, just so you're balancing in your leg, you're getting the stability through your foot and your ankle, and you're working your thighs and bum a little bit more. So let's bring some arms in, just to make it a little harder, so we're balancing. Fantastic. Okay, so now we're going to add the tap to the side. There we go. Bringing the arms up, just to work a little harder. And this is now going to take us into a little bit of a squat. So step wide and go down and up. Pushing your weight back, keeping your chest uplifted. If you go down a little further, look after your knees. You may want something for support. You might have a jerder. It's up to you. So this is now going to take us into a single tap behind. So bringing the arms up. And the tap behind takes us into a single lunge. So we're going to go for eight. <laughs> on one leg and then the other. So, right leg, tap and come back. You're balancing yourself with your arms, working through the shoulders, thinking about going a little further back if you can. Super. Two more, last one, and now change. So, if you look at me, the knee stays over the top or even behind it. The weight is in the whole foot. If you want to stretch a little further back, you will work harder, but please make sure you're not going to fall over. Health and safety all the time. Marching on the spot, please. There we go. Keeping that heart rate up. So, what I need us to do is march back and tap forward. Three and four. March back and tap forward. Stretching the arms out just a little bit more. Marching back and tapping forward. Four, three, two, and one more, marching back, big tap, arms up, three, two, and now heel digs on the spot, bicep curl, lifting your arms up, lifting your elbows up, remember, I'm a guideline, please stay with your guidelines, you can go fast or slow, just depending on your music and your energy levels, so your next one is tap to the side, so we're going to tap, stretch the arms out, 
I've slowed it down a little bit, so you're stretching a little bit further. Super. Just a little bit. And now tap behind. Nice and fast. There we go. So we're going to do fast, and then we're going to do slow, and then we're going to move. So let's go for slow. Push the heels out. Stretch out. So I'm balancing. I'm bringing my arms up. I'm working through the big muscle groups in our legs. Stomach pulled in. Our next one is squat. So you're going to go down and up, pushing back. So if you had a wall behind you, that would be good. So you know you're not going to fall back. You know you've got that support. Fantastic. So we'll do one more and then lunge behind, eight on one leg. Eight and tap. If you want a further challenge, just try and balance a little bit. Looking after your ankle, squeezing everything to give you good stability. Last one, and now change and tap. There we go. Pushing back, stretching out. Fantastic. Last two, last one, and now tap to the side and move forward and launch back. Tap to the side and move forward and launch back. There we go. So tap to the side a bit more vigorously and marching back. For those that are fitter, you can do a little jump or a little jack and marching back. Okay. So, heel digs now, bicep curl. We've increased the pace a little. So, heart rate's going up. We're getting a good workout, but please stay where you are happy. So, your next rhythm is tap to the side, wiggle the arms out, and push. Good. We're just not even 10 minutes into our workout now. So, round about now, you're in your aerobic zone, and now tap a hand. Your heart rate's gone up, but we don't want to push it too high. I want you to stay in that aerobic zone. So if 10 is hard and one is easy, where do you need to be? Medium, towards hard, marching on the spot. Cool. So let's have a little recovery, but keep moving. Pulling the stomach in, releasing the heels. Fantastic. Okay, so we've done our strength. We're going to move into aerobic zone now. And then we're going to return to balance and strength. So I need you to just tap to the side. There we go. Hands on hips, shoulders back. Now, the tap is up to you. You can go bigger or smaller. Or to you. So now, we're going to go two steps. One and two and back. There we go. Stepping together, stepping apart. Pull the stomach in. Let's add the arms. So a little bicep curl as we go. One and two. One and two. We'll do two more. One more. And now a little tap to the side. And back. Four and three. And two. And the other side, a little tap. Four, and three, and two, and let's do that again. So you don't have to go too far. You can go half if you wish. Remember, you're balancing on one leg as you come back, and then tapping just like that. Fantastic. So, marching on the spot, please. There we go. Let's have the arms up, and around, and down. Let's have them up. Stretching out, open up the rib cage and around and down. Last one, stretching high and around and down. Take your hands behind you and squeeze. Okay, here we go. Heel digs, bicep curl. Whew. If you have water, make sure you do stay hydrated. You know, it's good to hydrate. Last two, last one, and now tap to the side. Wiggle the fingers, play the pianos, do, 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 do. nice and smooth, super duper. Good. So it's good to be back at work. It's good to be working hard, burning the calories that I've put on 
who are not down, who are now here waiting to see you do. So tap behind now, let's have the arms up, stretching. So we need to stay in this zone for the longest period of time to get good results. So that's what we're doing. We're staying here and staying strong. Now, two taps please. Stretch up, two taps. Fantastic. Nice and easy. Remember your red to seat exertion. We don't want him to go too high. I want you to stay around a five to a seven. No more. Last two, last one, and now a single side step. There we go. So we're stretching the legs, stepping a little deeper, pushing our them back. Let's get the arms going. Just a little bit more. There we go. Fantastic. So, last two, last one, and now two steps. One, two, one, two, tap, one, two, tap, one, two, tap. There we go, fantastic. Just a little tap, getting a little impact, but not a massive one. Remember, if you're on the carpet, make sure you're picking your heels up. You don't want to ruin the carpet, and you don't want to trip. So, last one. And now, two steps to the right, one, balance, two, together, other side, one, balance, two, together, one, lift the leg up, two, together. So there is the challenge, just balancing, getting stability through the foot, through the ankle, through the knee. Keep the chest up lifted, let's work the legs. Look after your knees, make sure your knees aren't going forwards, Weight is over the foot. And march on the spot, please. Big shoulder roll now. All the way. Open up, embrace your world. Let's have a back stretch. Stretch your fingers out. Round your shoulders off. Tuck your chin in. As you inhale, hold them up. And as you exhale, stretch your back. Super duper. Okay, so I'm going for a little bit of stability here. Side to side. If you do have a chair, or support, that's great. So I want you to hold it, just for a second longer. Hold it, and hold it. Those with a little bit more power can bounce, or balance, but make sure that you've got your core turned on for your balance. Two more. One more. And now, heel digs on the spot. So let's do it all again, with a little bit extra and then we're done for this session 20 minutes is where we broadly aim for but please remember to do the warm-up and the cool down that's on the youtube channel already so tap to the side now wiggle the fingers keeping going as you can hear my breath just a little bit out of breath that's where i need you to be not breathless just a little bit out of breath nice little bit of sweat that's all we've got. So now tap behind, arms up. But remember, if you don't want to use your arms and just go for the legs, please do. It's all up to you. So the extra that we're going to add on now is a little bit of the knee lift. There we go. Tap in, bring in the arms down, and tap in the knee. If you want a bigger challenge, go higher and pull down. There we go. Nice and smooth. So we'll do two more, one more, and now side step. One and two. There we go. Nice easy side steps. There we go. Adding the arms, stomach is on. That is your core, that is your strength. So keep that pulled in, keep breathing, keep that strong. Now two steps over. One and two. So you can push a little bit more if you want to. You could even do a little skip if you wanted to, but please stay where you're comfortable all the time. One and two, one and two. Two more, one more, and now two side lunges. One, balance, two, together. One, balance, two. Now, Please keep going. Remember, I'm a guideline. Stay with your own guidelines. 
push your weight through, come back and back. So you push the weight through, you can balance and then back. So you're getting this little bit of weight bearing push through the leg. Your core is strong, you're turned on, everything is squeezed. Last two, last one. So neck, heel digs, foot slow. Pushing the heels out, stretching the weight. Bringing the arms out, and as I said, I'm a guideline. If you want to work harder, you can push a bit further. But if you look at my knee, it stays over my foot. This is taking us into squats. So go wide, go down, and up. Pushing weight into the heels. Again, chest is uplifted, knees behind toes. Next option, a little bit of balance. Bring the heels up. So we're working through the cards, getting more muscles activated. And if you want to challenge your balance even more, be careful, stretch your arms out. Last one, here. So right leg, tap behind, eight, and back, seven. So, six, five, four, three, two, one, and change. So you're balancing, this is one of your harder movements, just to balance, pushing it away, but remember you can only stay small and the guideline. Stay with your own guidelines. Okay, so tap to the side, move forward, march back. Tap to the side, move forward, march back. Tap to the side, bit of impact, move forward, march back. Bit of impact there, tap, tap. And for those that have a little bit more energy, one, two, three, four, and march back. Go on, we'll do one more. One, two, three, four, and march back. Okay, just easy heel digs now on the floor. So hopefully your RP went up then as you got harder. 20 minutes is almost up now, so we're going to start to bring ourselves down the way we started. We're going to bring ourselves back to where we were. So now tap the height to the side. Wiggle fingers. Again, chest foot lifted. Let me remind you, core is on. Pelvic floor squeeze. Very important. And now just slowly down. Whew. It's warm and heartbeat at the moment. Last two. Last one. And now tap behind. There we go. So we're just slowing down now. Thinking nice, easy, relaxing thoughts. We burn them calories. Yeah, for now. Fantastic. Three and two and one. And just march on the spot. Lifting the knees up. So you're only ball the foot, lifting the heels up. Okay, so we lift the shoulders up, round, back down. Up, round and down. Just do it once more. Up, round and down. And then the other way. So let's go a little bit wider. Nice, easy spinal twist. Our core is strong. Our upper body is moving them more than our lower body. We're releasing the heels so we don't jar at our knees. Super. So now just tap your toes. Cool. Bring your knees down. Nice and easy, easy roll. Remember, the warm up is important and the cool down is just as important. So please do both of these as well as this workout. So we hope you've enjoyed it. There'll be many more to come. Thank you very much.